Not now, baby. You're locked in for life. <laughs> 18 years of life. Everyone, I'm probably going to piss off half of you watching these videos. So this is our weather right now, okay? It is roughly maybe 50 something degrees. I think it may be 54 degrees. I'm obviously, I'm in jeans, so I always wear jeans. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I am so sorry for half the other country right now. I saw that like at Minneapolis, it's negative 50 degrees. So in perspective, that is 100 degrees, dip, literally 100 give or take a hundred degree difference. What's to say over 90 degrees of a difference? My refrigerator is warmer than half the country right now. With that being said, I hope every one of you guys are you know safe and warm as much as you possibly can and hopefully everything isn't frozen. I just, this is, the world is just trying to kick us off. Whether we're melting or whether we're freezing to death, the world is just like, get out of here. <laughs> Interesting way to start today, that's for sure. This little dude's been loving it though. See what I mean? Like our refrigerator, Alex, you know our refrigerator is warmer than half the country right now? So this might be a stupid question, but I'm very, very curious. When you turn in your heat, when weather's that bad, couldn't it freeze over? Yeah, people's cars are freezing like solid. I hope people aren't going out in that. Let me check up your drill. Look at all them drills. What you gonna do with all them drills? Baby got them drills. I just think you should. Trail a hole in the wall. Dee's been my little helper. He's uh, been kind of following us everywhere we go. See, look, are you coming? Are you gonna follow? Now you're gonna make me look like a fool? Oh, there you are. I know, I see how it is. We are putting shelving in our very tiny laundry room. I think a shelf over here. We're gonna put one up there. We overestimated how long this was. So we were gonna do four cross, like, or I'm sorry, two cross, but two layers, and we can't do that. So Basically, one there, one up there, one up there. As we're in the process of, we're a pre-process of nursery building. That's pretty Organization good. station. I am so, I'm not proud of the things I've been saying recently. Maybe that's why we've been getting flagged so much, Char, because I say such stupid stuff. What if we're actually getting flagged because of your dad jokes, because they're so terrible? Probably <laughs> Change up your drill, go and change up your drill. <laughs> Can I trade you in? Not now, baby, you're locked in for life. <laughs> Great. 18 years of life. I'm like the most inappropriate pregnant woman ever. Said everyone ever. Yeah, actually, probably not. There's probably a lot more inappropriate pregnant women out there besides me. Did I break this or did you break this? I think that was actually my dad, so I don't think you broke it. I think this was already broken. Hey, dad, we have your, what's it called, a level? Those are levels. Actually, you might have broken that. I'm telling my dad. You know what's funny? Is putting the stairs together was easier than all of this. Yeah, because it's awkward. They're in like little awkward spots that you have to maneuver your hand. Don't into. worry, guys. Allie is not doing much of this, so don't worry. I'm just sitting. Just making sure I don't like to do myself. Pretty much. All right, well, let's one down. <laughs> Why don't you just hold it? I'll balance it. <laughs> Jesus. You are so funny. You're so funny. Is that tall Perfect. enough? Perfect, yeah. Sure? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Okay. Marriage! America! <laughs> Go, baby, go, go, go. Drill, baby, drill, drill, drill. Oh, boy. You, you gonna cry? Because I have to turn the air conditioning off so I don't electrocute myself. I know. I'm sorry, it's a tough life that you live. Oh, now it's hot. Hotter than I already am. Wow. That's not a dad joke. That's a dad joke, no, for sure. It's not a dad joke. You have made shelf. This is the perfect time to do a dad joke. Oh, grand. What is blue and doesn't weigh very much? Blue and doesn't weigh very much? I don't know. Like blue. <laughs> wow. God, now I feel stupid, but that sucks. I'll give you another one. What's orange and rhymes, rhymes with carrot? Parrot. Really? Did like you come up with that one? No. The light blue one's the best, though. What's orange and rhymes with carrot? Parrot? Yeah, I don't. Where did you find that one? The internet. Yeah, that one was pretty dumb. That one's not very good. I didn't like to keep myself. Yay. What's orange and rhymes with your socks? Huh? Your orange socks. <laughs> Dude, those are bad. Those are, even, those are mom jokes. Dad jokes are funny. Mom jokes are just really mom. <laughs> These aren't the nicest looking things, but you know at this point, 
I just need to get some shelving. We just, we're trying to get that, we have to get everything out of that potential nursery room. It's like we gotta go outside, then we get to go inside. So right now, this has been the stupidest designed laundry room. It would have been smarter to put it outside, but like in the garage, but whoever built this house was not smart like myself. I am going to say, I know we've been doing a lot of projects and fun stuff like that. Here, I gotta set you down so that way I can drive safely. That, I've been doing a lot of projects around the house. Like I explained, the uh, whole nursery situation kind of has, personally has me a little bit anxious because I don't even know where to begin. I suck at decorating and organizing as it is. All I know is that we need shelves and we need like room for things. So hence the reason why I did the stairwell. I've been just like cleaning and reorganizing and getting shelves up. It's not exactly the most entertaining thing I know to film, but I sincerely try to, you know, try to keep everyone entertained with the, uh, the, um, hopefully, you know what, like I kind of, the reason why I like filming is because I hope it kind of inspires people to kind of do stuff around the house. Cause I've noticed when we do this stuff, they're like, oh, this makes me want to go do something. And, and that makes me feel good cause everyone's getting up off their butt. But how's this guys to make it up for you? I have been digging through and Ali and I decided that we are going to hopefully tomorrow when you're watching this video the next day we're gonna do the reactions to everyone you know we told you know that we were pregnant the pregnancy announcements or reactions I guess the only problem is and we'll explain it more in the video uh, tomorrow when we do this is that some of the people we just we just didn't remember the film which is kind of crazy to say I mean we had a lot going on so we were a little a little nervous, a little anxious, a little scared. So sometimes it was like hard to even remember the camera. Like you'll see it. Like for example, my sister, Allie's sister, um, Allie's mom. I think we actually called Allie's mom on camera, but um, on the phone. But Lissa and uh, Caitlin though, unfortunately we were so nervous and shocked that we actually didn't even remember to do it because it was, it was nerve wracking. But the ones that we uh, ended up doing, we have it all filmed and all that fun stuff. So tomorrow as a thank you for you know, bearing with us as we're doing this. I mean, it's just gonna mean that everything's gonna get cooler and cooler as we, you know, in a few weeks we find out the gender and then we get to do all that fun stuff and find out who and what we're having. That's, that's the exciting thing. I was talking to Ali, I was like, how much longer do we have? And she's like, oh, a few more weeks. I'm like, damn, I got so bummed. But you know, when it happens, it's going to be the most magnificent and like magical moment probably of my life ever. I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait to show you guys the reactions with our family. I definitely think you guys are going to enjoy it and that'll be our, our thank you or your reward, I guess, if that makes any sense. That sounds stupid. This is going to be pretty difficult. Luna's already got it. I actually bribed her with string cheese, so she actually went out the door. We have to do it kind of like this for just a couple hours just to kind of get it like an idea before we start drilling into a freaking wall or a hole or a door. It's not gonna help if you're guarding. You have to, you have to go away. If you're guarding that, she's not gonna come back in. The hard one right now is trying to get Rika to do it because Rika's terrified of like being outside. So I have to kind of show her the garage isn't that scary. This is a tough one. Any uh, cat specialists out there? How do I do this? Stop being afraid, he cat. You got this, Rika. You got this. Go, kitty, go. There you go. Just keep going. There's food out there and everything. Should have ET'd it. That means nothing for you, though. Luna's got this. You gotta learn how to come back in the house, though, cat. It just might work. If we can get this to work, I will be. I, I don't even know how happy I will be. I would just be so. Th I've never wanted a cat before until we got Rika, and then. You know, obviously I fell in love with Rika and then we got Luna in, and she destroyed things, but I love her as just as much. But if we can get them out there, just like the dogs go outside, it's just gonna be a weight off of my, my complete shoulders. And, or not half shoulders, wait, what does that even mean? Just because that's one less thing I have to worry about. girl, Rika, good girl. That's okay. She was like, what are you doing? Good job. I'd say I'm really impressed with Charles lately. Who would have thought that all it would take <laughs> 
is a baby for him to get all these crazy things done in the house. I guess I should just have babies more often. I'm so happy that I have him because a lot of these things that we've been getting done around the house, sorry, you cannot have this, my little girl. A lot of these things that we've been getting done around the house are things that we both have been pushing on a lot. I would like to say it's more me than him, but he's been killing it and getting it done and completing it and I'm just, I'm blown away, I'm blown away. But I wanted to show you guys something. I just got back, I had to go to Meg's to pick up some clothes that she borrowed um, when she went to Chicago. Gosh, New Year's. Now, we just got the cutest stuff in the world from her. We're starting to get like baby stuff. We haven't really bought anything for our baby except for like the little chucks that we have. But it's been so nice. Like family members have been buying us stuff and Meg got us the cutest, cutest stuff in the world and I'm just, it's like so cool to start getting these baby things and I just, my heart is exploding and it's just, I'm so sucked in and it's so adorable. But Meg got us this really cute like pacifier thing with an animal on the end. A lot of you out there are gonna be like, why are you showing us this? We really don't care. But for those of you who do care, you know how cute this thing is. And Charles thinks it's so adorable. He's like freaking out over it. And then she got us our very first like warm onesie things so that when we go hiking or we go to the mountains or we go to see snow, the baby will be nice and warm. And I'm just, oh, it's so cool to start getting all this baby stuff. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. It makes it even more real. I mean, I know it's real that I'm having a baby and that Charles and I are having a child, but it's still so crazy because there isn't really baby stuff yet here. It's just here. And, um, now that we're getting all these things like the family is getting excited and our friends are getting excited it's just it's such a crazy cool thing and like starting to see this stuff makes me even more excited and thrilled and terrified but it's so cool ali is having a random craving of sour stuff so i volunteered to uh go on the hunt now and laters look pretty sour sour patch kids sour i might be here a while guys anyway tomorrow i promise i got a surprise Thank you so much for watching today's video. And also, tomorrow, Charles Has No Game actually is uh, live for the first episode, which is on youtube.com slash Charles Trippy. So make sure to uh, subscribe over there. Oh, lemon drops, that'll be probably pretty good too. So yeah, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.